Right. So yeah, some people actually take it quite seriously, so it's quite funny. The reason why they've got these, um, uh, in, the early, in the early days of Melbourne, sort of in the 1860s, 1870s, so this is Swanston Street. This was one of the only streets that had gas lighting. So most other streets were still in darkness once the sun went to bed. Uh, so this street had gas lighting all the way through. So a, a much safer part of the, of the city to, to walk through. Um, and they had these special areas because ladies, uh, you know, were kind of in their giant frocks and their uncomfortable shoes or whatever. And they had these little rest areas for the ladies to come, have a seat, have a chat, blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, and the whole thing was safe because there was lighting and everything else. So that's why they had these special areas. And ladies only because, well, men don't need to rest because we're... We're men, we don't need your rest, yeah, yeah. So that's the reason why I've got these here. And people, some people do take it quite seriously still, so I dare I dare not take, take a stand. Um, I, however, I want to talk about this guy, Captain Matthew Higgins. Now this is uh, Australia's most famous navigator. This was the guy that worked out that Australia was in fact an island. So he circumnavigated Australia in 1803, so the first person to work out that it was an island. He also worked out that Tasmania and Australia were separate, so he circumnavigated Tasmania as well. Um, also, he was the first guy, well, not the first guy, but he uh, popularised the term Australia. So, sort of prior to the early 19th century, uh, Australia wasn't called Australia uh, because you had different colonies. So you had the New South Wales, New South Wales, um, you had the Swan River Colony. You know, it was all colonies. It wasn't called Australia as such. The word Australia comes from the Latin word Australis, which means southern. So Australia Southern, because we are south of the equator. Simple, yeah. <laughs> um, so what happened was, Flinders was, was on his way back to uh, London uh, from Sydney. Uh, on the way through, his ship went through some fairly vicious storms and was badly uh, badly in, uh, uh, damaged. I was going to say injured, ships can't get injured. But quite badly damaged. Um, he, he stopped in, in an island called Mauritius. Uh, Mauritius is a small island off the east coast of Africa. At the time, it was controlled by the French. Now, Flinders had a French passport, but he thought he could uh, stay in Mauritius for a, a few weeks, repair his ship and be on his way. The governor there was a bit suspicious because, uh, again, the British and the French were back at war again. Um, Flinders was actually kept under house arrest for six months. Now, while he was there, Flinders was also there. He wasn't alone. He was imprisoned with his pet cat. Uh, his pet cat was called Trim. Now, Trim was Flinders' most loyal friend. He actually found Trim one day. Trim had fallen off, off the side of one of the ships he was captaining. Flinders rescued Trim himself and cleaned him up and, and then made Trim his, like, basically his best friend. Was Trim. Um, so Trim and Flinders were imprisoned by the French and Mauritius. One day Trim went missing and, uh, as it turned out, French slaves had uh, captured Trim and, unfortunately, had cooked him and eaten him. So poor Trim made a fairly, uh, fairly nasty. Um, Flinders, Flinders, was, Flinders was heartbroken by the loss of his best friend Trim. He actually wrote a biography of his cat Trim, which if you guys want to read, if you Google Flinders pet cat Trim, you can, you can read the biography of his pet cat. And it, it reads like he's written this about his uh, long lost lover. You know, it's quite, it's a little bit romantic actually. Flinders, I mean, you can kind of see the statue here. He's like heroically got his leg cocked forward. He's holding onto his sword. He looks like kind of a macho kind of guy, but actually no, much more of a gentle soul. He was a, a poet. Um, he played the flute. So yeah, kind of a, a poetic kind of romantic guy. Started to reign again. Um, yeah, so that's that very, 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 very important man as part of Australia's history. All right, cool. We'll uh, move and try and find a place to. Uh, so we're just going to go.